Welcome to It's Your Destiny. Today we'll be talking about lust and commitment. So those two things and the comparison of them both. Yesterday, um, a wise person told me that love without commitment is lust. Love without commitment is lust. And I've been meditating on that and looked in God's word, you know, what is lust? Let's look at the Greek word, the meaning of lust. Um, the Greek word for lust is actually epithemo, and it means to desire something, to long something that you don't have, a longing, a lust, a desire. And so when we were talking about this, I had the contents of sexual desire, lusting after someone. And so I looked at the sexual content in the Bible of a lust. And one of the times this Greek, it comes up, is in Matthew 5.28, talking about when a man lusts. So you have heard the commandment that says you must not commit adultery. But I say anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So if your eye, even your good eye, causes you to lust, gorge it out, and throw it away, it is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. So I guess we're going to be looking at what exactly is lust in dating and in relationships and our specific conversation was kissing and if that was lustful. You can take it there because it has to do with the desire of the heart. Yesterday we talked about how your heart is going to make decisions for you. Wherever your heart is, it's going to lead you in that direction. Is it pure? Is it corrupt? Where is it? So in this sense, Again, we're looking at lust, but the commitment part. I thought it was ingenious. He was correct when he said this. It is lust unless there's commit the love without commitment. So you're longing that person, you're longing, but you're not willing to commit. So you're willing to make out and have sex with everyone. And the world is so desensitized to all the sexual stuff around. I walked out of the movie theater yesterday and there was a boob, a boob on one of the billboards. And we're like, oh. That's acceptable because we've made it a standard of exception um, or we're okay with. But truly, what is God thinking? He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah from lots of sexual sin. What is the point of being an abomination, of being um, wrong, being deceitful, being just deceiving ourselves, basically? So we have to look at that corruption in our life. You know, and it comes back to the intention of the heart. Commitment. Are you going to be committed to that person absolutely forever? Then get married. Do it. I, I absolutely agree with that person who talked to me.